Good morning, and welcome to Mr. Young's first ever Fireside Chat, sponsored by Miss King and Mrs. Pittenger. Fireside chats were used by FDR during World War II to put the American people at ease, and I'm here to put Block 1 and Block 2 at ease during this crisis. Today I received a number of submissions, all excellent work with regards to triangles. Some of you, many of you, this is Ava's work, and she did a great job. She labeled isosceles triangles, which are two sides of the same length. Scalene, which are triangles all different lengths, right angles 90 degrees, equilateral, which all have equal sides. Today what we're going to talk about in the hierarchy of triangles is the difference between categories and subcategories. Other ways that you could organize um, your triangles would be by using a Venn diagram. Sometimes mathematicians use Venn diagrams to represent relationships like this with a diagram called a hierarchy. The most general group goes at the top of a hierarchy and the groups get more specific as you move down. So in this example, we have students in my class, which is the most common. And then we could have a subcategory with students in my class with a sibling. And then finally, you might have students in my class with a sibling who is a brother. So students in my class is a category of students. All the students in the category share an attribute, that they are members of my class. When I added the attribute of having a sibling, the students who are in that group would have walked to the center of the group or formed into the middle, and that it formed a subcategory of students. There are still members of the larger category because they're still in my class, but they also have an additional attribute that they have a sibling. What other subcategory is on a hierarchy? Well, it could be students in my class who have a sibling who is a brother. So other additional attributes that the students in the subcategory have, they have a brother. So the, the group at the bottom of a hierarchy is a subcategory of the group in the middle and also a subcategory of the group at the top. Any group that has all the attributes of a category and one or more attributes, additional attributes, is a subcategory of that category. I'd like to welcome my special guest, Leo the Cat. He is my special helper today in preparing this lesson and clearly is very interested in triangles. What I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you work on page 246 through 248. And you are going to create your own triangle hierarchy. You'll use the triangle cards from the initial activity, and you'll arrange them with categories and subcategories. Questions you have to ask are, what properties do all triangles share? What do we call triangles with at least two sides that are equal in length? Can we have these, have left these cards in the triangle category? Why or why not? And why do we move these particular triangles down to the isosceles triangle subcategory? And how far can you go with them? So again, if you would post pictures of your completed work on 246 through 248, that would be great.